On today's tech tip, we're going to talk about the electrical integrity of an irrigation system, which should be the first thing that you check on any irrigation system. Today, we're going to use this commercial irrigation system as an example for how you check the electrical integrity. You're going to need a few things to do this. Number one, you're going to need a multimeter. I have an Armada Pro 95i, which is a super fancy multimeter, but if you have any multimeter with that little ohm signal sim symbol, wow, I can't talk this morning, on it, then it will do for exactly what we're trying to do here today. What we're looking for is a reading between 20 and 60 ohms on this display here. If it's outside of that reading, then there's something wrong with that circuit. We'll talk more about that in another video. Let's go ahead and start checking the ohms on this controller. Oh, forgot to mention the other two things you need. A pen and a piece of paper. In this case, I've decided to use a white piece of paper because I forgot the actual piece of paper I normally use for this process at the office. Also, anybody can use a white piece of paper. So let's go ahead and move forward. First thing I'm gonna do is clamp this sucker somewhere convenient. And then I'm gonna to touch one of the leads to the common and the other lead to zone number one. And that's gonna tell me I have OL, an open line. So that means that this wire is not connected to anything in the field. Now this could be right in the junction box below my camera, or it could be somewhere in a junction box out in the field, or all the way at the valve, and maybe the wire is just disconnected at the solenoid. We go to zone number two, and we've got 34 ohms. This is a good circuit. If we turn on zone two, it should work. If you spend just a few minutes doing this electrical integrity test, you won't find yourself in the field chasing your tail looking for a zone that'll never come on because that electrical integrity test would have told you you have an open loop in the field, meaning that there's nothing connected to that wire. Don't waste your time and follow Sprinkler Dude.